Catholic Church really was the leadership in the development of knowledge and the sciences from the beginning. Located an hour from Rome, the Catholic Institute of Technology is a brand new American university tucked away in the scenic Alban Hills of Castel Gandolfo, underneath the watchful gaze of the Vatican's observatory, one of the world's oldest. My wife and I were on our honeymoon, uh, and uh, we know um, uh, we know one of the, uh, the uh, religious brothers at the Vatican Observatory, and he invited us down to Castel Gandolfo, where we had never been before, uh, and gave us a full tour of the Vatican Observatory, and we just fell in love with the town. And during that tour, he uh, he walked us through how this was the historic uh, hub for Catholic scientific innovation. It's the only, still to this day, um, and historically only place the Vatican directly funds scientific research. We realize, well, if we're gonna have one uh, research, uh, scientific and technical research university for the Catholic Church, it should be it, at the heart of it, here in Rome. Catholic Tech aims to carry on the Church's mission of scientific discovery and knowledge through education and to create the next generation of saints, scholars, and scientists. They recently had the ribbon cutting ceremony to inaugurate their campus. Father Michael Baggett, one of the university's professors who will be teaching both theology and bioethics. Many of our professors are coming from Silicon Valley or from institutes that are somehow tied to Silicon Valley and they're bringing their expertise and experience here to Rome. We think it's very important in Castel Gandolfo to have this symbolic image of how the church is unafraid of science and actually is willing to take the initiative in seeing how best to use it. Scientific discoveries and technological progress have reshaped many aspects of society and forced people to confront new ethical situations, from bioethics to artificial intelligence. Science is often forcing us to pose hard questions, and oftentimes the church seems late to the table. Pope Francis often speaks of the importance of aligning human values with the technological innovations. Empecemos para que el progreso de la robótica y de la inteligencia artificial esté siempre al servicio del ser humano. Podemos decir, sea humano. Catholic Tech's curriculum is specifically designed to integrate the rigors of technical education with a moral and spiritual formation in the Catholic faith in order to respond to these ethical challenges. The long-term vision behind Catholic Tech is to serve as an engine to ignite a wave of Catholic startups. We really do want to create a Catholic innovation ecosystem, and we call it the Silicon Crater because Castel Gandolfo happens to be on an old volcanic crater, and I think it's kind of a cute name. Um, but, you know, at the center of any of these great technology ecosystems is a major research university. Just a little bit about our curriculum. Uh, we have a strong focus on, on the engineering. It's a, it's a bachelor's of science um, in five different engineering disciplines and biology. Um, but first and foremost, we're, we're forming Catholics. Um, we have, everyone will graduate with a, a minor of philosophy and theology. We have a, a, an amazing, we do, we talk about our, our STEM faculty a lot because they come from very prestigious universities. Uh, but really, uh, even more importantly, is our, our humanities faculty, our philosophy and theology. Equipping Catholics to be confident in their faith and in the public sphere is one of the major tasks of a Catholic university. I think the people, the world, the non-denomination and other religions uh, need to see the Catholics there willing to participate in a public dialogue, look for the good of humanity and society. And we have a great tradition on that as well that I think we need to, to share. Catholic Tech aims to fill the gap in the university landscape, 
a home where Catholic scientists and engineers can go to study. Catholics come from all over the world to innovate. I think that's so important to what we're trying to do in our mission. Why do we need one? Because that's good for the church, um, right? To be an asset to the universal church um, is, is invaluable, right? To, uh, to bring industry here um, that can aid in those conversations. Um, it, it can only be an objective good. And there's nowhere else in the world that's doing this, being this university where Catholic scientists and engineers can go. Admissions are still open, and the campus will welcome its first batch of students this fall.